Hey, it's Corey, and in this video, I just want to make a, a, a quick tutorial on adding UTM tracking codes to Google My Business. Uh, and the main reason for this is to track your impressions in Search Console and in analytics that come directly from a, a Google My Business listing, a knowledge graph panel, um, <clears throat> map search, whatever it is. We want to be able to filter those out. And the way we're going to do that is with a UTM code. So there's a really good article I found here on Local Fallon uh, that gives you some ideas on how to use this. I'm basically going to use this exact tracking code. All we're going to do is go to the end of our, our URL. Now, I'm going to add a slash here. It doesn't really matter if you put it or not, according to the research that I've done. Um, and then we're just going to put question mark UTM underscore source equals GMB, standing for Google My Business, and UTM underscore medium equals website. And so the whole thing here, this is the simplest version of this. Now you could get a little more complicated if you have multiple locations or you want to add in a different campaign or something. But these are the basics that we need. We need to know that this traffic came from Google My Business and that it was in the website field. And we'll track that later in Analytics or Search Console. But basically, now that I've got that URL, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back into Google My Business and go to Info. And I'm going to update this website URL. Just going to click Edit, paste that in just like that, hit Apply. And it should go ahead and change it. Now, it's going to say pending, and it may take a little while to change. But usually, that should get approved relatively quickly with this kind of change. Uh, and now, anytime someone clicks that website link from Google My Business, you'll be able to filter that out in Search Console Analytics, which I'll cover in a future video.